What is your opinion on Versace blue jeans? Such an underrated scent. Yeah, let's totally talk about it. And thank you for your comment because it's actually been a while since I smelled Versace blue jeans, which is uh, an aromatic fragrance. Um, although everything is blue and suggests blue, it is not an aquatic. It is a very much uh, uh, aromatic fougère. And for those who don't know, a fougère perfume is actually one of the classic types of fragrances which is very herbaceous, very aromatic, and um, you know, very leafy. So fougère in French actually means fern, so that kind of gives you an idea. And Versace Blue Jeans is very, very much that, um, but it is it does have a special quality to it, and we'll get that to that in a minute. Uh, but let's kind of appreciate the packaging. Um, you know, if you're you either like or you dislike uh, Versace, because you have to have a good sense of humor. I mean, everything is super, super camp. I mean, look at that. Uh, like basically, let's put everything. Let's put everything on the packaging. Every single idea. Let's just put it on, and take a look at the bottle. It like it it. <laughs> it continues, right? So again, it's not it's not an aquatic, even if it kind of tends towards that. Um, but take a look at the bottle. So it's a nice little cola bottle, which kind of suggests the idea of a cola, uh, a classic cola. And look at there's like basically their lo lion logo everywhere. It's here, and yeah, it's like again very campy, very theatrical, um, which I'm living for. And blue jeans came out in 1994, and to be perfectly honest. Uh, I wasn't acquainted with this fragrance until more recently, so I don't necessarily have like any uh, nostalgic feelings with the scent. But that being said, I do find it's a really fun and playful one. You have to have a sense of humor uh, with this particular scent. And in terms of the scent, I'll put up the uh, the notes because there's a lot going on. I do feel that this one is kind of connected to the tail end of the 80s and the extravagances of the 80s than necessarily with the... Uh, uh, minimalism of the early 90s. So yeah, there's a, a lot of notes, but what really, really sticks out to me right away is uh, the citrus, the use of citrus, but they're not subtle citruses. They feel very synthetic. You know, it's borderline going towards citronella, which is, to me, is very daring, but you get the lemon and lime side of it. So we talk about like it, it has a very, very cold, uh, fizzy cola feeling, but I feel it's more towards like the, the direction of 7-Up and Sprite. And as a fizz kind of dissipates, it opens up into more classic uh, fougère chord. So, you know, slightly cooling, uh, a little herbaceous, um, a little bit of that barbershop feeling, but not like your standard uncle's barbershop. It's a little bit more modernized and a little bit more subtle than that. So a super, super fun uh, mix and counterpoint. Uh, clearly, they were trying to target a younger audience. And I mean, $20, $20, $30 a bottle. Why not? Right. I love it.